but there's also a time where we're alone. And this is exactly what we're talking about right now, funny enough, where you need to have catharsis. And this is exactly what I said to her. You need to have catharsis and that you're a human being and human beings get sad and they get angry. And sometimes it's not even a story. It's just a body feeling that needs to be processed. And if you keep stuffing it and keep judging it and keep saying like, if I cry, I'm a victim, you're actually a victim to the control, not a victim to the crying. Because mm. the crying is freedom. The control is the trap. And you're being so strong to do your job and be, you know, here, but you're not always having, you're not always on the job. Sometimes you have to be a human with yourself and you have to let yourself feel and not and it's, it actually takes a strong person to let themselves cry. I would say that when I was depressed, it was because I wasn't letting myself process these deep emotions. That's the thing that when you're caught in depression, it's the last thing you want to do. I don't want to embrace the sadness because what if I, what if I feel it and I can never get out of it? That's a scary idea, mm -hmm. but it's actually the catharsis of those feelings that help them go away to, to, to cry it out because you won't cry forever it's the it's the refusing to cry when you deeply want to that's where you become almost a victim to i can't cry because crying's bad it's you know it's victimhood it's whatever crying isn't victimhood crying sadness all of that that is human it's the refusal to be vulnerable with yourself the refusal to let yourself process that's actually victimhood <laughs>